ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ഐ ആം പ്രിയ സെക്കൻഡ് സെമിസ്റ്റർ എം ടെക് സ്ട്രക്ചർ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് എസ് എൻ ഇ ടി അടു ടുഡേ ഐ ആം ഹിയർ ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ടോപ്പിക് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ജോയിൻസ് ഇൻ ബ്രിഡ്ജസ് ബി ഓൺ ടു നോ അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ആർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ജോയിൻസ് ജോയിൻസ് ഇൻ കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആർ ദ സെപ്പറേഷൻ ഓർ ഡിസ്കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ കോൺക്രീറ്റ് ടു നെഗ്ലക്ട് ദ എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കോൺട്രാക്ഷൻ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ movement and settlement in structure with a change in external environment but these joints are not made randomly they are planned with great care under supervision of structural engineer as such joints are affected to shear tension and movement created in structure in general they are located to points of minimum shear and minimum movement as far as possible then what is the necessity of a construction joint joints prevent unnecessary cracks joint ease in massive construction work joints sometimes prevent the entire failure of the structure for example the joint retaining wall if was unfortunately hit then only the section that is between the joint retaining section would fail and need maintenance joint helps to prevent unnecessary deformation as well joint also allow a free movement of two different structural elements functioning differently there are basically three types of joints that are construction expansion and contraction joints we discuss all joint. these joints in con- concrete structure are designed to separate the large concrete masswork into a divisional pattern main purpose is to divide large voluminous concrete work in a specialized way so that there would be no problem within work during construction and structural strength wouldn't be affected in most cases concrete pour needs to stop due to many reasons such as material limitations capacity of machines efficiency of equipment large pouring area so leave the rest to the next day this unfavorable condition generally ceases to work thus part of concrete in structure might get hardened with time so thus old concrete or hardened concrete and new concrete are replaced to a resume of work and necessarily separated by unintentional instructions joint in such a situation such a construction joint is specially named as called joints these joints are used to strengthen the unit and make it as one whole unit these joints are provided with the keys at a suitable spacing these keys are under interlocking structure made with the end of section at the joint. then these joints are categorized into different types according to the method of end of the joint phase constructed that is butt type joint tongue and groove type joint butt type with dowels and butt type with type of joint for example types of joint that is butt type joint is a simplest type of construction joint and tongue and groove joint this arrangement is mostly used in buildings but type with dowels that is take part in partial wheel load transfer from one slab to its adjacent slab then but type with tie bars these tie bars are deformed rebar or connectors used for holding faces of rigid slabs in contact to maintain aggregate in and mainly this construction joint is mainly divided into transverse and longitudinal This transverse construction joint means joints are usually butt type joints which deform tie bars or dowels to provide load transfer and prevent vertical movement. When joint ceiling is too good, the depth of saw cut is just deep enough to provide a reservoir for the these are the types of transverse construction joints. That is, first one is days work joint that is non working joint used at planned or on planned stopping joint it should be located at mid panel but it should not be located less than 5 feet from a planned contraction joint then second one header joint 
for the end digit payment used for payment ends and traffic will cross the joint the header is removed when the payment is extended then third one abetting payment joint functions as a double contraction joint when an existing flat is extended normally used when the payment is eight digits or greater in then then next type is abetting payment joint with, with which type typically used when an existing slab is extended then last one for abetting payment slab that is plain joint just like but joint typically used when two different payments or thickness then next type is longitudinal construction joint these types of joints are used when adjacent legs are contracted at different times. Tibos are primarily designed to resist horizontal movement but help with load transfer and vertical control under certain conditions such as a drop in air temperature during the first night. Longitudinal and transverse guards may occur early. The types of longitudinal construction joints. First one. Abetting payment joint that is rigid type used to tie existing and new parallel payments together to prevent horizontal movements and will provide some load transfer and resist vertical movement. Then second type keep joint for adjacent slab. When tibers are not needed or desired and load transfer is required. Then last one longitudinal keyway joint rigid type used in pavements under heavier traffic condition and typically where the pavement thickness is 8 inches or greater also used in interact intersections under heavy turning moments where the pavement is less than